Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight and today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial. So many of you have uh, experienced the mesh to MetaHuman conversion and also with the new MetaHuman update, MetaHuman creator who are able to get these really beautiful characters. Uh, for example, if I zoom out and all the new avatars that are coming from the MetaHuman creator, the MetaHumans, uh, you can tell that uh, this is a new metahuman with the, because of the dressing. You know, they, they have some new colors, some new logos on the t-shirt, and also the cornrows. And one of the challenges that uh, people have been encountering, myself included, is that we couldn't get the data from the live link face onto the metahuman to talk. So here, I'll show you something real quick. I'm going to go to this camera right here. I'm going to... my Turn on, uh, live link is already turned on. Sorry, let me just move this out of the way. All right, don't disappear on me. Okay, there we go. Scale this up. All right, as you can see, my phone is already connected. So guys, I, I always encourage you to make sure that you're on the same IP address, the phone number, uh, your, sorry, your iPhone together with your computer. So make sure you go to your network and find out the IP address over there. So it's connected. So I can actually move this over here and I can have, I can collect, uh, select my character, the new meta human. And over here, you can see if it's, if yours is not showing up, I make sure that that is active. Okay. That's showing. And now if I simulate, aha, <laughs> so the live link face is working on the new uh, meta humans and that's i wanted to walk you through how to fix this it's actually a very simple fix guys it's not very complicated and the issue is with uh, the bridge when you go to import your character over here and you go to quicksaw bridge and you bring up your meta humans and you select one of them <laughs> this is a uh, one of my favorite ones and you click on uh, transfer this button right here is that it overrides, uh, it goes into your common folder and overrides what is there. So if you're working in a brand new project, uh, it's still going to be the same issue because I started a new project with the sample meta humans and I put it in this new meta human and it was actually not working. So the way I got this to work was that I and this is, I would recommend you to do this. And I, I honestly think this is just a, a temporary fix. I truly believe that uh, Epic Games is going to come out with a fix for these imports because it really is a small fix. It wasn't like something really complicated. Okay. So in the future, if you're watching this video and they've already fixed it, yay for you. But for us right now, if you're desperate and you need a quick fix for you to be able to record your new meta humans so that they can talk, is that go to your launcher right here okay and look for an older project one that you created before the new meta human uh, was updated the meta human creator okay find one and uh, it preferably has to have a meta human like a sample meta human folder in it i have this project right here uh, right click on it and show in folder okay so go to the content folder over here and then browse your way to where the metahumans are so you look for your metahumans folder it's no longer called sample metahumans for some reason in the new one so it's now fully metahumans because it's, it's they're fully grown i suppose all right go into your common folder okay so content metahumans common drill down one more common folder so there are two common folders and then inside of the mockup folder over here copy right uh, select drag and select and copy these two files these are the ones that have been updated w when you use a uh, bridge quicksaw bridge to bring in your meta human it's what uh, these are the files that get overwritten so the ones that I was able to fix came from an, an older project, like just like you see here. So copy these four files, right? Go to your project, uh, bring up your asset browser over here. Let me see if I can move. I'm trying to get out of, I'm behind the camera. <laughs> uh, go to your content browser. And by the way, I figured out how to do the uh, putting on your own logo. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. 
uh, to meta humans and I would right click and show in Explorer. So this is the project that has this meta human, the brand new meta humans from the updated meta human creator. It's going to be in content. Go to right click on the meta humans folder over here and then show in browser. Okay. Once you get here, now you drill down to the same place that we were before. So drill down to common, go to common again. So track this over here, mock up and right click and paste. Okay. So these are the ones that need to be updated. These two files right here. The one that you see here is the, for when I'm using iClone and uh, the, uh, the, the kit for MetaHumans. That's what's uh, that's the one I use for those meta humans over there. But what you need is this. These default two are the ones that need to be uh, replaced. So you just right click and paste and replace because I've already done it. I don't need to do it again. But uh, that's how I was able to update uh, the live link face to work on my meta humans. And as you can see, um, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Um, I still prefer to use uh, iClone because especially with uh, CC4, Character Creator 4, the characters, the new characters have really awesome, awesome uh, like enunciation. It's like when I'm talking like this, they look great. So I'm able to actually mm, mm, close my mouth like that. And actually, let me see if I can do a new tech on my iPhone here. Uh, recalibrate. Let me do like a neutral face okay i've confirmed my thing nah, bah, bah, bah. okay it does offer a little bit of uh, there's some improvement there let me raise my head up and so guys I get, as always, <laughs> if you're new to my channel, I kindly, I, I kindly, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And as always, thank you so much to my patrons and every single subscriber that has joined me. Thank you for your support, guys. I truly, truly appreciate. And as always, dare to dream big, guys. Never, ever give up on your dream, no matter what happens. And I'm going to be continuing to praying pray for you guys wherever you are those who are experiencing war and the pandemic let's use these tools to tell our stories and bring our you know those scripts that have been you know hiding away gathering dust let's bring them to life you know the meta humans are a really really easy way for you to get started and i hope this tutorial will help you get started when you want to record the facial animation of your character much love as always guys peace out again just a quick recap Today we're just uh, showing. I was showing you how to fix a quick fix on uh, the live link face so that it works on the new Meta Humans from the Meta Human Creator, and this also works on the ones that have been created with Mesh to Meta Human. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. The Meta Human is telling you. Yes, you. <laughs> Bye for now.